No problem. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just a reminder, if you do have a question, please use the raise hand function and we'll kick it off to Steve. Hi, Christian. Um, how big an impact would you say was um, the introduction of Insigne and, and Bernadeschi into this team? Yeah, very, very big, I think, because uh, we studied at Toronto and uh, we know the way they played. But when you introduce this kind of quality in the team, it's not just uh, the players themselves, which they show that they have a lot of quality, but also the, the kind of lift that they give to everybody else to play around them. So it improves uh, the level of the team. Uh, not just for introducing them as uh, individuals, but also it gives an extra motivation, an extra dimension to everybody else, because these are guys that uh, understand football really well, technically very gifted, play right, and so it automatically improves everybody else. And, I mean, just on Wednesday night, you played against a lot of gifted players yes. in a similar situation, perhaps more man for man. Well, definitely more man for man on things like that, but um, played well. And again, that's totally different circumstances of the importance of that game. But is there, is there a chance that, that Charlotte was overconfident going into this game? What, what, no. what, were, the, what were the issues? I don't think that we went uh, overconfident. I really don't. I thought that uh, the boys uh, prepared and for the game and they were... It's just that we had a couple of moments uh, that uh, really went against us. The first goal is uh, an unlikely def deflection. The second one, I have a doubt. I don't know if you saw it again, but from the bench, it looks like the Bernardeschi had a double touch on the corner. So I'm not sure he should have stunned it. And... Uh, you know, I've never talked about the referee in in our post-match or whatever, but uh, in the second half, I think that there is a clear penalty on Camille. It's a reckless challenge in the box. We already got the same situation in Houston or Jordi Reina. We didn't get it. Uh, we got an apology from uh, the ref after, uh, from after the game, but, uh, okay, you know, we get the apology, but... Nothing changed today. Again, it was a reckless challenge in the box. Is in my opinion, is a clear penalty. So uh, I think that when you go to nail down in that way, then it becomes difficult. Then it looks like if you look even at the, apart from the goal score, you look at the chances. They had uh, 15 shots, we had 11. They have two big chances, we had two. They have one big missed chance, we had two big missed chances. I think our boys played the game. Um, play a game that is uh, correct against Toronto and they we went toe-to-toe. Uh, -to -toe. The, the episodes went uh, all in their favor, I thought, and uh, we didn't uh, find that uh, little bit of opening or luck to keep us in the game because I thought that by playing, we were always in the game, even in the second half. Uh, when they changed the two plays, I think that we were... Uh, the, the team creating the chances. And you can argue that, okay, they were funnel up, but they still have a half to play. And uh, I thought that they, we hold our own against, uh, against, against them. Great, thank you. Sure. Great, thanks, Carol. Christian, was that your message to the team after the game? You know, don't, don't hang your head as much as the score might make you want to, or, you know, some of the struggles yeah. on the road, you know, don't make it snowball. Yeah, I said to them, despite the, the defeat and the score, I didn't feel that bad in the game. I didn't have a bad feeling because I think our boys were playing, we're closing them down, we were playing toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with them. Listen, they have got uh, an, an abundance of quality, midfield, Osorio, K and Bradley, up front, Bernardeschi, Insigne and Jimenez. You know, and uh, Crescido, left back, is, uh, is a very good play and... Uh, they have experience everywhere with O'Neill and Bono. So uh, he's a very, very good team. He's a different team than he was a couple of weeks ago, even. And so I think that we went to play against them in the face to face, and we were not faced by them. Uh, just in those situations, he had the quality. Bernadeschi finds a great finish from outside of the box. We knew that he has got 
this ability we spoke about that uh, again I said uh, I said it before for me the corner uh, I want to have a closer look but it looked to me there was a double touch and uh, the first goal is very unlikely I mean you kick the ball you take one of the players uh, and then he ends up in the opposite uh, corner you know it's not easy to to have this kind of situation the last one was in the injury time and then you know, probably we should have defended better that situation, but uh, we also had our chances. And so, despite the scoreboard, I didn't have a bad feeling during the game. And as far as some of the calls not going Charlotte's way, do you think that's almost human nature for an expansion team? Like you guys haven't gotten the respect that maybe some teams yeah. are getting? I think I think it is, but if that's the case, it's really, it's really poor. Because I think... Uh, you know, the officials are there to officiate the game. Don't look at the badge and don't look at the play. If it's a foul, it's a foul. If it's a penalty, it's a penalty, you know. And so the penalty not given also results in a red card against us, you know. So I've never once com commented, and we had many, many situations against us in big moments. So the goal of Houston uh, should have been disallowed. Uh, uh, against the Red Bulls, there was a, a red card that should have been issued, uh, and it was uh, issued retrospectively. So I think that uh, in, again in Houston there was a penalty on us when on Jordi Reina, and so uh, in Montreal the goal of Chouanier is offside. So uh, because the guys interfere with the plays offside, and all this has been admitted by the the referee association, not me making. So it's all decisions that they've been against us. And uh, I think it's time that uh, it's impossible that uh, out of eight games that have been uh, coaching seven, in seven of those, there are big decisions always against us. I think is, I don't know, let's say that we are very, very unlucky. And one last one is Camille. Do you know the extent of his injury at this point? No, we are looking. And uh, again, that shows you that... Uh, you know, that in itself should be like a sign that he gets tackled from the back. This is, a, in my opinion, is a reckless challenge in the box. Whether the guy takes the ball or not is a penalty. It's a rule. Football is not me making the rule. But yeah, so we are looking at the moment is uh, the medical department eyes the, the, the ankle and we will see the extent of the injury in the next few days. Thanks, Christian. You're welcome. Great. Thank you, Carol. Caleb? Hey, Christian, I just want to get your thoughts on how the team responds from this and how you get them, you know, re-motivated and get them back on track at home next game. Listen, we have got uh, many games still to play and we know we have a target of a number of wins that we need to achieve. And we will take one game at a time and we will be prepared for each game at a time. Uh, we have to put uh, our head up. We cannot feel sorry for ourselves. We have got a week to prepare and go for the next game. Uh, we will have few, uh, three games in a row at home uh, in front of our supporters. They create always a magical environment. We will want that even more now because the team needs them even more. And uh, we want to make them proud and play the, the kind of football, the brand of football that we have been playing. So uh, we have this is the moment where you see the character of everyone. We have to stay together. We have to be strong. Everybody has to support each other. And then we have to move on because our objective is still the same and uh, we still have got time to achieve it. Great, thank you. You're welcome. All right, thank you, Christian. Um, okay, thank we you. We will have Christian Fuchs here shortly. Thanks.